how it was uh, with like uh, the sunset and the moon coming in front of it and we had a full one this year so it was really nice to have this experience and I was with some people that I love spending time with so it was really nice to have this moment. It's a very touching moment because it's the first time for me and my family uh, to um, actually uh, see a total eclipse so it's very touching. Uh, in fact my son he cried. <laughs> yeah so uh, it's a unique moment very historic. I'm here in Parc Jean Drapeau in Montreal where about three hours ago tens of thousands of people took in a total solar eclipse. In fact, speaking to organizers, they were telling me close to 100,000 people attending. Now to recap, a total solar eclipse is when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun, blocking its rays, creating a shadow over us, uh, which creates a day turns to night phenomenon. Now, on my way here earlier today, in the bus, on the metro, it was crowded. People, you could tell they were excited. There were even traffic jams coming in to the park. Once on site, around 2.20 p.m., I put on the protective eclipse eyeglasses for the first time, and I noticed that the moon was starting, just starting, to cover the sun. Around 2.45, I looked again with the glasses, and about a quarter of the sun was being covered. It wasn't until after three o'clock I noticed it started to get a little bit colder, a little bit darker, a little bit windier. And then around just before the total solar eclipse, around 325, people started cheering. They could see it was on its way. Just before 327, when the solar eclipse started, a gentleman just beside me started yelling, oh my God, oh my God, and then it happened incredible watching the moon cover the sun coming from behind it it looked like rays emanating from behind the moon the the sun it's called the sun's corona it wasn't completely dark you know a lot of people had their cell phones out so it was quite it was quite an image from here in espace 67 in park jean trapeau now during this people removed their protective eyewear because the sun's rays weren't coming through but at the conclusion of the minute and a half there was a sound or like a siren sound coming out of the speakers here telling people to put those glasses back on so truly a magical moment uh, a, a once in a lifetime opportunity because the last time this happened here in Montreal was in 1932 the next time won't be until 2205 so I think many people will be remembering remembering and reflecting this moment it was a beautiful day as well sunny families were out kids a lot of kids had the day off school people were having picnics everyone was in such a good mood the event started here around 11 a.m there were music performances and festivities but once people started putting on those eyeglasses it was really the sun and the moon that took center stage in the sky